a supernova explosion. It is the degree for one of these cosmic explosions that we can see unprecedented detail in these brand new images from the whole space station. Although we don't usually think about it, the stars quickly in the night sky do not return for us. How nice star is depends on how big the heavy it is. The bigger a star, the shorter its life. Birds, I, I'm claiming this spot. Ooh. Hey birds, can I claim this spot? You're gonna be my intro. <laughs> That's a dead fish. That, guys, is a dead fish. Tastes good. All right, guys. So I was gonna make this a vlog about me coming and cliff jumping, but I decided to make it how to cliff jump, cliff jumping 101. And I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about cliff jumping safely. And this is the perfect spot actually because I've never been here. It's uh, I'd say 20 feet high, maybe higher, I don't know, but 20 feet, 25 feet. And it's in the ocean, so ocean is usually more dangerous to cliff jumping than, say, rivers, lakes, uh, waterfalls even. And that's because of the tides, of course. And when you're trying to climb out, if you get hit by a wave or a swell, it could uh, push you up really hard against the rocks and then pull you back down super hard and it's just uncomfortable and it takes a little bit of technique. So the interesting part is we're the only people here and I don't know how deep it is to be honest. I've seen videos of people doing it and I've uh, looked at some screenshots and I've compared it with uh, what I'm seeing today and it looks like it might be a little higher than the people in the video so probably it's safe but no, no, no. We're not gonna take any chances, guys. So I'm going to put on some goggles. I'm gonna put on my wetsuit, and I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna swim around, and I'm gonna look, and I'm gonna depth check, okay? And guys, if you've never depth checked, especially at a new spot where there's nobody, it's very, very hard to get that motivation inside of you to get out there and do it. 
but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. If you do it and then you can do that jump safely, you're gonna have the time of your life, guys. So I'm going to do it for you this time, and next time it's up to you. So let's give cliff jumping a good name, guys. And Anything. It's so yeah. Totally. I think here we'll be fine. Just wait for like a little wave to come by, and you're gonna step right here. Yeah, I want you to step right here. I'm gonna hold your hand. Wait for it to get high. Yeah. Hang on. Give me your hand. Alright, now don't slip. This guy did not have a mission success. Legend has it he left many offspring though. So it's okay. Look like you were, you didn't sink in. Okay. All right, guys. I should have observed more because there is a rock here. Uh, it probably goes out to about right there. I didn't hit it the first time, I guess by chance, but I did hit it the second time. Luckily, it did not hurt at all. I did a side flip, as you saw, and my landing foot hit the rock but my second foot went off the rock, so it basically dissipated the impact. You can't see it now, but when it gets shallow, you actually can see it. So guys, that was an amateur mistake, and admittingly, admittedly, I am an amateur, so I guess it's to be expected to some extent. Now guys, guys, and when I, when I looked under the water, it was complete gray fuzz. I couldn't see anything. Um, that's, it would be very good to bring a pole with you to poke to see how far it is and to just go back and forth to feel any rocks to feel for any rocks yeah jump out far really far just jump out as far as you can yeah give a good, good far jump Yep. That wasn't that far. You okay? Oh yeah. Yeah. No. N n no. We don't come out there. We go over here. She's too brave, guys. Way too brave. Okay, guys. When I was helping her up, I noticed I was bleeding. That's from the rock. And it's interesting though, I didn't notice that I had that from pain. I only noticed by the color sticking out when I was bending over to help her. I think it's a small one, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I hit it on a rock, but it felt really smooth when I hit the rock. All I felt was the impact on my heel, but it wasn't even enough to give me a heel bruise or anything, so. The local surfers know what's up. Oh, you got me on camera? The no. local surfers. He committed to it, he said that he's doing it for sure. I said I was. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, guys. You guys were already down there and everything? Let's see it. How am I doing? I haven't done, done a gainer in like four years. Guys, this is sick. Surfers are so chill. Alright, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh! Let's go! Here, same take. It's still coming. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Take your time and just jump outwards. I'm ready. Ooh! Oh man. How was it? Ah! All right, guys. Funny story. When she jumped in, all I heard is "itai," which in Japanese means it hurts. I straight up thought she hit rocks or something, or like kind of belly flopped. But she was actually speaking English and she was just like, yeah! Oh man, dude, I was tripping right there. That was so scary. Oh, anyways, yes guys, this is how you cliff jump safely. And let me tell you, the visibility is zero. So this is the most dangerous kind of cliff jump. But this has such an established history uh, here where we are in San Diego that it's more or less safe. But being the only people here today and never doing it ourselves, it's a, it's a good feeling, guys. It's a good feeling. Most cliff jumps are easier than this. Less risk, more reward. But guys, we did it. We conquered the cliff. So we did make a mistake. We forgot to bring first aid. So I'm actually gonna show you natural first aid. I'm gonna rub that dead fish into my wound. I need that, dude. I need that. Hey, look, my foot's bleeding. That has good healing properties. I saw you. You wanna get healed? You wanna... Level up your gourmet cells? No, I need that. Okay, ready guys? Here it goes. guys know that there's actually bones behind the gills? It looks like a sea urchin. Eh? Okay, my wife thought that, but I was thinking it too. Look at that. It's right behind the gills. Crazy. And of course, they ate the eyes. That's the best part. I was saving that for later, stupid seagulls. Keep going, y'all. There's the final verdict, guys. Not bad. Oh, wow. Crazy feet. So everything that could go right went right, and everything that could go wrong went wrong. So this is the perfect example for you guys. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, first, let's talk about what went wrong. First of all, I could not properly depth check because the water had zero visibility and I was not properly equipped with, you know, a 10, 15, 20 foot pole to poke around in. On top of that, I didn't observe close enough and I ended up landing on a rock, which could have been so much worse than it was, guys. And without enough information, I may not have jumped from the top at all. Now let's talk about what went right. So one of the first things was that I had screenshots of other people doing it and I was able to observe where the water was on the rocks to figure out and discern that it was likely high tide and it was probably safer than usual to do the normal jump. But that was not enough information by itself. Next we looked for higher and higher jumps to do and there really was only one, maybe another one, and it was still about easily 10 feet or more away from the top. So that didn't help too much, but it definitely helped a little bit because you can jump down as low as you can and see if you touch the ground. Finally, two surfers came from across the way. We saw them surfing about 100 yards away from us, and they came in, and we thought, hey, we should ask them if they've ever done it and if they can give us any information that they have how far out to jump, and just whatever they know. And not only did they give us information, but uh, we kind of talked the guy into actually jumping. He asked his friend, do you want to do it? And his friend's like, no. And then he's like, hmm, maybe I can do it. And then I started recording him, as you guys saw, and he's like, oh, now you got me on camera saying that. And I'm like, yeah, you got to do it, blah, blah, blah. 
They were super cool. He would have done it anyway. And so, guys, that was the best case scenario. Seeing someone do it and being totally fine. He didn't even touch the bottom, which is like we suspected. And then we went, and it was good. So everything that could go wrong did, and everything that could go right did. This was a great day. And it was a perfect example of how you can safely cliff jump. And you can even do it safer than we did. That's the beauty of it, guys. So if you go somewhere cliff jumping, most likely there'll be people there already doing it, Sheesh. and you can do it that way. And you can just swim around underwater and get some goggles and stuff and just learn how to depth check when there's people there. And eventually you'll be brave enough to do it on your own and just have a great time. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out and watching this video. I wish you many fun, safe, awesome adventures in the future. And hey, if you like the content, subscribe for more and have a great day. This is No Gym Needed, signing out. Beach vibes. <laughs>